Hey there, it's Brittany and it's one of my favorite days of the month. Sam's bead box September 2022 came in and I'm super excited. Um, let's bust into this thing. I have opened it, but I haven't looked. He um, has changed to recycle uh, recyclable packaging so that's all I've seen so far besides this and I haven't read it yet so let's read it so it's forest walk. forest works in magical layers from roots to forest floor to the tops of the tree canopy each layer has its purpose and supports the others in the ecosystem we took inspiration from this ingenuity of nature to curate a jungle theme that layers a luscious gradient of color and texture um, at the center of this box, you'll find a nun designed tree of life, complemented by tones of olive green, warm amber, smoky topaz, and terracotta. Oh, I love terracotta. It's one of my favorite colors, so I'm excited to see this. This whole color palette sounds really yummy. We specially customized bees, dragonflies, elephants, and flowers to bring the forest to life. Some of my favorite hikes are ones through the dense redwood forests of North, Northern California. When I camped in Henry Cowell State Park last year with my parents, I couldn't believe the sheer size of some of the trees. Some dated back over 2,000 years. I really want to go there and see that. I haven't, I haven't never been to California, even though it's next door. Um, not Northern California, but <laughs> the state. Think of all the history that those trees have lived through. There was one tree that had sur survived a fire thanks to its natural fire resistance, and it was left with a room-sized opening we were able to climb into. That's so crazy. Uh, let's embark on our forest journey and see what we discover as we create with this box. As always, share what you make in our Gem Chat Facebook group to enter the monthly drawing with the hashtag, hashtag Sam Speedbox September 2022. Let's get beating. Okay, Sam includes a great um, roster of everything in here. He also labels everything. So I usually just go off of what the labels say. Super excited about this. And there was some talk in the group of what the candy would be and it is Lifesavers. So that's exciting. I don't know if we've gotten those before. So I'm just gonna start. Let's see what's in here. We have a Fancy Jasper Smooth Round 8 millimeter 7 inch strand. These are lovely. They're very foresty for sure. I see nature when I look at those. Look, look this one's really cool. Love it. Very fun strand. I don't know, it's gonna be really hard to beat last month's box. Last month was amazing. Definitely my favorite one, probably, that we've ever re received. Um, Housemade Czech Glass Bead Mix Lush Jungle, 1.65 ounce bag. So it features a bellflower, teardrop brio, druck round, tumbled stone and olive, and smoky topaz. Let's see. I'll dump it all out. All right, so it's brown and green. And here are the little flowers cute i always think of them and i say this every time we get it when we get them in this color it reminds me of the movie flubber every time <laughs> here are the drugs these are some great background beads what i like to call them but um they're really lovely i love the shape that is such a cool shape i wonder if this is the what is, what is it called tumbled stone is what that shape is that's pretty cool and then we have it in green oh and then we have some of the flowers in green too i didn't see those because they were kind of blended in a little bit that's really cool i like getting like a bunch of the same color in different shapes i think that's pretty neat i like that i like that concept check glass melon barrel olive bronze 8 by 14 millimeter eight piece set lovely that's a cool shape I like those. Check glass table cut oval, green meadows mix. So the, the color is a green meadows mix. It's 13 by 19 millimeter, one piece. This is a bright and lively piece. I feel like this looks like a turtle or like, you know, like a pond that has a lot of algae on top of it. That's what this reminds me of. I think it's beautiful. Check glass faceted rondelle rainforest mix six by eight millimeter 20 piece strand these are lovely i always love getting these wow look how vibrant those are under the light they're a little less vibrant uh, off of camera but they're gorgeous i love that blue 
Those are beautiful. Jack Glass Dragonfly Red Silk Picasso Copper 15 millimeter four piece set. Adorable. These are cute. They're little, okay, so we know I'm not a huge fan of bugs. I like these. They're just a little more buggy than I'm normally comfortable with. <laughs> Some check glass beads have very abstract bugs some of them have very detailed bugs and I really like some of the dragonflies but these are a little a little wingy and leggy for me <laughs> but they're still gonna make it into something I am seeing this this is reminding me of last month so it's kind of so far very similar to last month's color uh, color palette uh, which is not bad because I really really love that box but I would love to see a little bit more delineation between the two Check glass table cut oval green silk Picasso, um, seven by seventeen and a half millimeter six piece set. And you'll remember we got some really bright green beads last month too. These are gorgeous. I love them. I love them. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with this box. I'm just noticing. It's just what I notice. Okay, take it or leave it. This is beautiful. Look at that. All right, so this is Nun Design Tree of Life Pendant Antique Copper Plate, 19.5 by 23 millimeter Tierra Cast Oak Leaf Charm, Copper or Antique Copper Plate, 6 by 10 millimeter. So there's two things in here. And if you're part of his bead group, you would see that there is an, a bunch of new, there is a bunch of new Tierra Cast stuff um, offered on his site. This is beautiful though. I'm not usually like I feel like sometimes tree of life can be overdone but I like that this isn't too much I really like how um, dark the inside the oxidiz oxidization is and um, I love that you know I love copper and a little tiny baby leaf it's so little I love it check glass leaf jungle glow mix 17 and a half millimeter by 13 12 piece set Okay, so we have some ambery yellow flower or ambery yellow leaves and some darker green leaves. Those are nice. Uh, check glass leaf copper wash forest fern mix, nine by 14 millimeter, 25 piece strand. These are beautiful. Oh, wow, those are gorgeous. Oh, I wanna do a bracelet with these. Hmm. Yeah, I'm picturing a bracelet with these. These are gorgeous. I think so far that's my favorite thing. Check glass bicone smoky topaz, eight millimeter, thirteen point six grams, about thirty pieces. Very nice. Those are good um, filler beads. I like that color. It's not a color I see too much in check glass, to be very honest. I like it. Check glass teardrop striped amber mix, um, six by nine and a half millimeter, seven and a half or 7.7 .7 grams, 20 pieces about. So this is what I usually call tortoiseshell, but we're calling it a striped amber. Cute little drop. Check glass saucer olive, two by five millimeter, um, 5.2 grams, about 75 pieces. Little tiny babies super cute check glass bifocal garnet copper and check glass pine cone smoky topaz copper that is a buggy bug <laughs> oh my goodness I love the color though He's, he scares me a little bit and then this cute little pine cone I think I've heard him called something else, but I can't, I honestly can't remember what it was, but I like them. Check glass spacer, druck, amber topaz, four millimeter, 15 grams, 200 pieces. Lots of little baby beads. Those are great. Check glass table cut oval jungle mix, nine by 11 and a half millimeter, 10 piece set. These are gorgeous. Those are lovely. I haven't seen that colorway before. I'm loving it. Looks like candy. Or like ice cream or something. Those are great. I love those. 
and they simultaneously remind me of my grandpa I don't know why <laughs> tiger eye faceted rondelle four by six millimeters seven and a half inch strand a lot going on 25 items in this um, box these are gorgeous these are beautiful Sam has some wonderful gemstones on his um, site as we saw from my giveaway beautiful love those I don't know if I even have that shape in, in tiger eye now that I think about it that's gorgeous I love that I know I said it twice, but it was bared repeating. Check glass flat pair Brio Woodlands Mix 12 by 18 millimeter 10 piece set. Ooh, these are fun. These look like caramel. I'm like, I'm not hungry. I just had dinner, <laughs> but these look like caramel. I love them. Those are really pretty. So this is kind of where we're seeing that 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 delineation I was looking for a little bit earlier in the box. So now I'm really happy. Like I was getting worried because these right here all looked like they could have belonged with last month's box. But we're really springing off into the more foresty look from the ancient ruins look, and that's making me super happy. I don't. I wouldn't have minded too much if it had been a repeat of last month because I love last month's box but I think everybody really enjoys seeing something different each month and now we're seeing that I think just the ones that were similar in my box were at the top but yeah see once we pulled these out and these that really like got me going um, red jasper donut okay red jasper is one of my favorite stones um, 30 millimeter seven millimeter hole so I don't know why I think it's just because red jasper is so beautiful and just simple um, it could be because of that beautiful terracotta color but I just love 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 terracotta and look at this I love red jasper Goldie's making a lot of noise back there this is beautiful. I'm so excited about that. And I just got some really pretty red jasper cubes. So I might need to do something with that. Check glass rice bead bronze luster three by six millimeter, approximately 65 pieces. So these have a little purple. They're purple with a bronze luster on top. They're gorgeous. <gasps> little terracotta elephants. Check glass elephant copper wash leather brown 11 by 15 millimeter six piece set. Adorable. Adorable. We're not going to see any elephants in the forest around here, but somewhere, some forest has an elephant in it. And then we have a check glass cowgirl flower crystal latte silk mix copper 11 millimeter 10 piece set these are beautiful absolutely gorgeous i love that color it's like almond color and then oh my goodness we made it to the end last but not least check glass faceted bicone green luster eight millimeter um, 11 and a half grams which is about 20 pieces and these are cool those are a little bit rougher by cone than we're used to seeing from check glass. So I love it. I dig it. Oh my goodness. I really love this box. Really love it. So it's in my top five of all time. Not my top two because I already know what those are, but I really love this box. Um, my favorites were these Brios, the leaves, this little guy. The donut there's like 25 things so I can have more than three favorites <laughs> and these they're gorgeous they're also beautiful and you know I really liked everything to be very honest um, so I mean yeah I'm excited about playing with this uh, we'll kind of figure something out and I'll be back Okay, it's been several days since I filmed the opening of this box and I just haven't felt good enough to make a video and um, I actually was waiting for a couple things to come in. I'm on a spending freeze unless it's for like basic supplies and I really wanted some ball head pins um, and I didn't have any that I didn't have enough so I got a 
like a, I can't remember if it was like a 500 pack from Amazon. And then I ordered, I really wanted um, anti-copper and the anti-copper ones came in from the Etsy seller the day after or two days later after I got these. So I just ended up using the gold. I'll put a link, um, an affiliate link to that in my um, description box below if you're interested. Um, but I wanted to make a bracelet, of course, with these check glass spacer uh, drugs because um, sometimes, you know, I avoid using the smaller beads and I didn't want to do that here because I thought I really love this color. Um, it's my birthstone color. So um, yeah, I want to show you what I did. So I took one of these. I took a ball head pen. These are 24 gauge. Pretty good quality. I don't know how long, the, uh, how they'll hold up over time, you know, the plating or whatnot. But, and then I just took one like this with my pliers, bent it back, bent it forward, reposition my pliers, and then we're just doing a um, wire wrapped loop to secure it so it's not coming undone because we're just gonna create clusters or a cluster on this bracelet. I don't know if it's gonna be one or two. Um, and then snipped as closely as possible. And we have a little tiny little drop. So I did that a bajillion times. There were 200 pieces in here. Of course, I didn't use 200 pieces, but um, I did a bunch at a time. Then my wrist started hurting, so I just put them down. And then I kind of did some more later whenever I felt like it. Um, this is a good mindless thing to do if you have like a favorite TV show. I don't watch a lot of TV. I don't watch a lot of videos. So um, it was just whenever I felt the, the urge. So I made a big pile of those. I don't know how many I need. Um, but yeah, it took a while. And then um, I also want to use these, uh, some of these, not all of them, because I really do want to use them with copper metal. But since I already made these in gold, I don't think I want to do gold and copper like metals together today. So I'm going to use these with some gold, but I'm going to save some because I want to use some with some copper. Um, I think we're going to use some of the tiger eye some of these check glass rondelles and possibly some flowers. I also have some 19 strand beetle on bead stringing wire. I got out some 22 gauge artistic wire. Um, that's going to be for these little, these little dudes. So I'm just going to cut a piece, probably too much because it's what I always do. Stick that through. You can use 24, four gauge of 22 gauge is too thick, which it's right up there. We could just use some um, jump rings as well, but I'm just going to use the wire and I'm just going to wrap one piece. I'm going to bring that to like the middle of the bead and then wrap one side around. Yeah, 24 gauge would probably be way easier on my fingers with this. My nails are so long, I gotta cut them. <laughs> Sorry. And then I'm gonna snip that. And then I'm just gonna do a quick wire wrap. I'm going to find another pliers and wrap it with my pliers because my nails are going to start breaking. That's why I don't really do my nails too much because they'll break. I'm even, I mean, keeping them clean and working with them that way. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to snip this. It's not the prettiest wire wrap loop, but that's okay. Um, we got the job done, right? So I'm gonna do that several times. And I'm gonna get out some jump rings. I think this would be prettier with um, copper, but it is what it is at this point. I love these so much, I almost don't want to use them, but that's not the point of the bead box. <laughs> I gotta use them. All right, so I'm gonna use several of these. Get 
these out. I don't really know the design yet, but we'll get there. And I might get out some crystal rondel spacers or, or some flatter spacers that are larger diameter. I think I'm gonna get three of these. You know, I always do flower, uh, batches of three, so why um, interrupt my flow now, right? <laughs> All right, I had some of these in my bead stash, so I think we might use a couple of those. I'm not sure, but I like the look. Okay, and I like this clasp. It's cute. I think that'll work. So I'm going to grab... Actually, I'm going to do several of these leaves, and I'll be back. Okay, so it's your lucky day. As I was <laughs> wire wrapping a few more leaves, um, I came up with another bracelet design and an earring design. So you get three projects in one video. When's the last time I did that for a beatbox? <laughs> but um, all right, so we'll start with this one. I pulled out, this is the second bracelet, which is going to be the first one I show you. Pulled out this cute little dragonfly. And um, I wire wrapped a bunch of these uh, little flowers that were in the box into a... Um, link and um, I have one more to go and then uh, I pulled out a bunch of jump rings a bunch of these guys and a few of the leaves so with this one I wanted to show you how I wire wrapped the flower but I'm also going to wire wrap one end onto my clasp so we're just gonna curl this is 22 gauge wire again and Grab the loop, twist this around, and if you're if you have dexterity issues, just use your pliers. Take your time. Okay, I'm gonna clip that. Put on my flower. I went the easy route this time. I know, I mean, the easy route would just be doing simple loops, but I went the easy route with wire wrapping in that I am going to connect all the flowers with jump rings instead of connecting them to each other. This is the only thing I'm wire wrapping is the, um, the clasp. So we'll snap that on there and we will close that up. Goldie's asking me, where's my dinner, Mom? What are we doing? <laughs> so I'll hold that like that, and then we have our little flower wire wrapped onto our dragon blade. I'm gonna snip that on the other side. And then we're just gonna play like the assemble game here. What I'm going to do is take a jump ring And I am going to, and I'm going to open this up, put on a flower, my leaf, or actually one of the little bubbles, one of the drucks, a leaf, another druck, another flower. And I'm gonna close it up. So that's what it looks like. And then I'm just gonna do that until the other side of the bracelet. So I'll show you one more time. Gonna open this up, loop on my flower, my three beads. Oh, and my other flower. And close it up. This would be a cute chain on a necklace, too. Okay, so this is assembled except for the last piece of the clasp. I'm gonna do one more jump ring here. Put on my last flower 
And my last dangles. And my little toggle. So cute. And that guy goes in there. Oh, hopefully this will work. I might, um, that jump ring might be a little big. I might have to use a smaller jump ring here. Let's see. With toggles, it can be a little tricky if the if the piece right next to the toggle isn't smaller than the diameter of the hole that you're trying to put the toggle bar in. So, let's see. Yeah, there's like a little bit too much going on here. And I think, oh. Okay, so I got it through, but that's gonna be a pain in the you know what for the rest of my life with this bracelet. Also, I think the gold was a good choice. It's so light and airy. Um, I think it would look fantastic with copper too, but I think it was also a good choice here. So I'm just gonna add in, it's gonna make the bracelet a tiny bit longer, but I'm gonna add in one smaller jump ring between those links and the um, the toggle bar. And then we'll just add this little guy. much easier. I mean, it still kind of was a little annoying, but it was much easier. And we've got a cute little, gosh, this is pretty. Looks more springy than fall, <laughs> but I think this is really pretty and it's makes some fun noise. All right, so we'll go to bracelet number two. Actually, we'll go to earrings first and I put on my bracelet. It's so fun. I love it. So um, the next thing we're gonna do is to do a pair of earrings. I have an extra one of these sleeves that I did not completely wire wrap. Um, so I am going to put on, I have got out a little spacer, a little daisy spacer. I grabbed one of the um, tiger eye beads from the kit. And then I kept out an extra little flower. And then I am just gonna wire wrap the top of that quick and easy earring. I'm gonna turn this and then I am gonna use my these pliers to um, pull that wire around. So I'm gonna hold it with these pliers. Okay, and I don't have an earring wire out at the moment, but here we go. Those will definitely be turned into earrings. Aren't those so cute? Oh, <laughs> look, I did it backwards on this one. Oh, the, <laughs> the daisy spacer was supposed to go there. Oh, well, well, now you have two ideas and I'll probably give them to my mom and she won't care, <laughs> but they were both supposed to look like that. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, next bracelet, I grabbed tw two sets of 24 of these. So I have 48 of these done. 
that's 24 and here is 24 and I just want to decide what kind of pattern I want I'm not going to use the leaves on here because I want to use those on something in the future um, I'm definitely going to use these these and the tiger eye I think now that I took the flowers out of this one because you know obviously I used them all in the other project no I don't want to use those no maybe the no yeah maybe we'll go with the dragonfly and that'll actually work with the clasp that's on the bracelet that I'm wearing so um let's see these are so buggy <laughs> I know it sounds ridiculous all right I love sets of three and I didn't do my set of three on the other one. So maybe we'll do it on this one. All right. So I have my, I don't know what pattern I want yet, but I think we're going to go ahead and just play around a little bit. Oh, and I have some of these left and I bet you I can get out some gold spacers. Maybe some of the daisies I used on the last, on the earrings. And then another one of these. Actually, no, I want to go with this guy. And then I'm going to string on 24 of these. And they end up clustering if I just squeeze them together like that. So I'm going to grab another one of these rondelles. Do that same. Pattern. So it looks like it almost looks like a bead, but it's a bunch of little beads making a cluster. I love that. So I'm just going to do the exact same thing right here. I'm going to have to grab another one of these because I think I only took three out. And then I'm going to pile these on. Okay, and then I'm going to go like this. plan this out <laughs> just kind of winging it today uh, sometimes it we comes up we come up with the best stuff when we wing it sometimes so I mean I planned the bubbles out but I didn't plan literally anything else all right I think that's a little short for my wrist but I can always add more I'm gonna put on another one of these Okay, and then I'm just going to crimp onto my um, toggle 
So I'm going to put the smaller portion. Um, well, actually, it kind of comes down into the same diameter on both sides, so it doesn't really matter which side I put the, the circle on, but I think I'm going to put it on this side to um, echo those dragonflies. And I have crimp tubes today because I don't know where my crimp beads are. They're on this mess of a desk somewhere. Do what we can, right? <laughs> With what we've got. That's what I've been doing this whole video. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go ahead and string on a crimp tube, then my clasp, come back through, we'll move that down a little closer to the loop and then um, grab our crimp pliers and um, put that tube in that largest valley and then squish and then turn it 90 degrees squish and we're just gonna walk it up our our pliers making a little bead there and then I'm just gonna string this through a couple of these beads it's not really it doesn't it doesn't do anything it's not stronger because I'm doing this I just don't like how it looks when um, I have to cut off the um, wire right after the crimp bead. It's totally a preference, and sometimes if I can't get it back through this bead, um, I'll just cover it with the bead cover so I don't have to look at it. All right, uh, let's get that in there, and then I will trim that in just a moment. And then I'm just gonna scooch everything down and get it kind of tight, but tight while it's in the bend of a wrist shape, not in a straight line, because I don't really want these guys moving anywhere, but I don't want that it to be so loose that they're not really like, if they're, that they start spreading out, right? I want them to look like they're a beaded bead on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim my wire and then crimp. And if you're not comfortable crimping right onto your clasp, totally fine. Crimp onto a jump ring. That way you can change out your clasp later too without restringing if you need to. Okay, now I'm just gonna pull I like doing this because it gets me leverage while um, I'm closing up the bracelet. So I'm going to use my pliers in this situation. Get that up there. Get a little bit closer. See that my bead, see these are kind of loose still for what I'm looking for. So I'm just going to tighten it more. enough for me and then I'm just gonna squish make sure you don't hit your bead you will crush it the one next to your crimp bead ask me how I know <laughs> okay there we go we're gonna trim our wire and yes you're still gonna have a little bit of slack in the bracelet but I think I did a pretty good job of getting this one to be as tight as possible without being like a straight line and then this one's very real looking regal is what I said I didn't it sounded like I said real but I said regal I really like this it's very eye-catching it's asymmetrical symmetrical asymmetrical so let's get this on and then I still have one um, dragonfly left if I wanted to put it on a necklace or maybe make an asymmetrical earring. So there we go. This is a fun bracelet. I don't think I'd wear these together because they, even though they came from the same kit, well, maybe I could. Actually, now that I'm looking at it, maybe I could because we do have some of the yellow in here and uh, I think it looks great. I think 
I'm kind of regretting that I didn't put the bubbles, this is what I'm calling them, closer to the dragonflies. So I want to see them all at the same time. But this is just like, that's a fidgeter's dream. Like I could just mess with this all day long. And then we also have a pair of earrings. So I think it, that's a good day. <laughs> Let me know what your favorite item in the box was. And if you enjoyed the, uh, the um, tutorial, leave me a comment. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. And if you want to save um, $5 off of your first Sam's Beadbox, use uh, coupon code turquoise at samsbeadbox.com. I will put all that information in the description below. Have a great day. Bye-bye.